Today, we have banished Jamie from the kitchen because it's his turn to experience a dream menu. Last week, we asked him a bunch of random questions to help us create his perfect meal. So, Jay, I've known you a good few years, mm -hmm. but I've got a few more questions, this or that, to help us work out your dream menu. And you can't answer these after 25 years of being my friend? Nope. <laughs> but it will give us everything we need. Okay. Ready? Paella or burrito? <laughs> Quick fire. Burrito. Coal or wood? Wood. He likes wood. Sweet or spicy? Spicy. Pink or white? Pink. Spinach or lettuce? Lettuce. SpongeBob or Shrek? F food. Yes. <laughs> um, SpongeBob. Obviously. Allium or capsicum? Oh, allium. Cutlery or fingers? Fingers. Mm -hmm. In which case, moist or dry? <laughs> moist. Excellent. Aluminium or brass? Um, brass. Autumn or spring? Spring. Light or dark? Light. And would you like skin or bone? Bone. Oh. There we go. We've got everything we need. Oh, what have I let myself in for? <laughs> so Jamie's first question was paella or burrito? Because we can't let him have both because that would be criminal. He chose a burrito and this one is unlike any other. Dream menu, so no expense spared, two courses. We're going to do a dessert as well. And this plays off his love of SpongeBob. We're going to do a sponge and we're going to take the pineapple from under the sea and kind of combine them in a really light, moist way. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? <laughs> SpongeBob? Square time! <laughs> Excellent, right. <laughs> I'm going to make a saffron batter, which is pretty much an all in one method that slowly gets beaten at first, then quicker after time. And then right at the end, we add in an extra egg and a little bit of water. So this is an enriched yeasted dough because basically we're making rum barber, but we know Jamie too well. So it's not rum, it's going to be whiskey. So you got Squidward. I'm, I'm, I'm probably Patrick, let's be honest. Uh, Patrick. Jamie's uh, SpongeBob. And then you've got, what's the um, squirrel called? Sandy. Sandy. The squirrel. Sandy squirrel, you're normally the squirrel. You're, you're seed out of Ice Age. He's not a squirrel. And yes, I do look a lot like him. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> do it again. We also asked him, sweet or spicy? There's no getting away from the fact the dessert is going to be sweet, but we're putting extra spice into the main course to balance it out. He's gone for allium, so we're using a lot of onions in this recipe. Um, he also chose pink over white, so we're doing a pickled pink onion to go with it as well. Having whipped up the saffron batter so it's nice and elastic, we're now going to leave it to bolt prove. Then we're going to put it into a piping bag and pipe it into our oiled moulds, and then we'll leave it to prove again. These pineapples from under the sea are very different. One is a lot more ripe than the other. This one, we're going to kind of char off and caramelise in the syrup. This one, we're going to keep for some nice fresh slithers at the end. The challenge here with these videos, Baz, yeah. is that we've spent over a decade cooking together and we've had some pretty epic food yep. and then to pick one moment in time that is the dream dish based off of some rather obscure questions <laughs> is both a lot of fun but also a lot of pressure. Did like you switch it off? Yeah, yeah. I literally yeah, put it on I, for you. I tried you. to put the hopper higher. You know this is like teamwork higher. this one. Yes I know I turned the hopper off you. for the first time in my life. I'm sorry. <laughs> So here we've got the onions sweating down. I'm going to add a bunch of spices because he loves his spice um, and some tomato paste and of course some extra chilies. These are proper ancho chilies that we're going to cheat and use a jar. Baz, this is tenuous, but yes, this he whole said... thing's tenuous, Ebers. <laughs> but yes, he said allium rather yep. than capsicum, so yep. plenty of onions. But he also said spring rather than autumn, so spring onions. I'm going to sweat them off. And then we're going to add in lettuce, which he also said instead of spinach, and make like a spring onion and lettuce puree Sorry. with a dollop of sour cream. Jamie said lettuce. That was an opportunity to squeeze in the salad. Instead, you're blending it up. Well, he's not a salad man, is he? He's not. I know, I know. So you're trying to do the same thing he does to his kids and hide some vegetables in his dish. <laughs> he had the option. 
Of spinach <laughs> or lettuce, like Popeye or just lettuce, and he went with lettuce. Right, starting to get some nice colour on this. So we want a deep caramel colour before we go in with the pineapple. See this now, starting to colour. Just so you start to get a bit of smoke off it, we'll go in with pineapple. Then dropping the whole chunks in there as well. Yep, they're going to cook off and sweat off. Right, pineapple going in. Cook this enough so the pineapple softens so that when we blend it into a syrupy sauce, it's got those caramel, mm -hmm. tropical notes and some whiskey. No, not again, not again. You've done it before. So this was from our Wild Weekender barbecue series. We gave him the choice of aluminium or brass. Ah, yeah. And he said brass. Yeah. I struggled with this one. Because That's because he thinks he's really cool because he's got a tattoo. Literally his... a brass instrument on his yeah, arm. Yeah, exactly. Well, I put brass into Google to try and find other things connected and got brass monkeys. Oh, right. And then went monkey shoulder, which is why we're putting this in. Mm, Told you it was tenuous. tenuous. We do have some brass scales. Oh, I did use those to weigh oh, out the. I used those to weigh out the ingredients. I'd say use this to weigh out how much of this you want. Double I've brass. Already I've already weighed the flour. Just, just brass, just double brass. Brass on brass. Brass on brass. In. Yeah. Tenuous. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do to make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. I'm going in with lettuce. Lettuce is one of those things we don't cook often enough, yet other places in the world, it's kind of like lettuce soup is an absolute incredible dish. This, we are deliberately cooking because we want it to form like a smooth puree. So you kind of need to cook all this green stuff out before you blend it. If you had to sum up Jamie well, nice. in three words, what would they be? He always makes us happy. That, I think that is his skill, and he's, he makes everybody happy. Which he is can be unbelievable. Both the most serious person I know. Yeah. And the most accommodating and generous and like spot on. Yeah. Or he can be the biggest clown. Yeah. And that is the one we know him for most. So I'm going to say three words to describe Jamie makes me happy. Twee, I know, but that is where it came to, I think. And he's very good at that bit, right? I've burnt, I'll, it makes me happy, but I've burnt his burrito. Crap. <laughs> you got distracted. <laughs> Another one of Jamie's questions, which was slightly disturbing to hear, was skin or bone? And he, being Jamie, obviously went for bone. So, so we, we boned something... out a porchetta. Right, yeah, we did take the bone out of the porchetta, but we left the bone in, in a bone broth. Go into our onion -y mix, just to loosen up. We need to get the spice levels right. And Jamie likes a lot more spice than both Ben like and handle. I've got to work out what I want and what you want, and then put them together. Yeah. You should get to Jamie. We asked him sweet or spicy. He said spicy, so let's make it spicy. Chipotle paste, chili powder, and we've got fresh jalapeno if we need it. Stage one. That is Done. smoky, spicy, rich from the tomato, the softened onion. Yep. That's perfect. Balance it out with rice and meat and our green puree. Wonderful. Is it spicy? He wants more spice. It does. Right, I'm going to put all our green stuff in here. So it's our spring, allium, and lettuce combination. Just seasoned salt and pepper and then we're going to blend it with sour cream. Once we get a little bit of catch, a little oh. bit of liquid in the bottom, we plunge. Pop. Are you done with that hop, mate? No, I'm not actually. That tastes lettuce like, spring that onion. does taste like blended up lettuce. I thought it would lose more colour than that once blended up. That looks brilliant. A little bit of sour cream. Boop. Porchetta. Oh, that is a thing. Now we have cheated here. Kush did make this one earlier. And it looks fantastic. And the first thing we're going to do is take the crispy skin off and then dice up the meat. Lovely. Just warming that pork through in with the sauce. Oh, that is pretty special. I think it's going to need more heat. Oh no, it's a grower. It's okay. It's okay. Hey! 
What do we like? That one? <laughs> Avocado or pineapple? Pineapple. pineapple. Hey, the whole you thing's reckon? gonna be pineapple. Yeah, let's go for that one. That's more spectacular. I've not seen that before. Right, let's make a caramel pineapple bath. And then this sponge, which is really light, will become really moist. There's three of his words. This is the most stupid decanting method. A good rum barber, and I'll be honest, I haven't made one for years, should be proper boozy. So yes, sweet and sticky and spongy and moist, but boozy too. Now that wonderful sponge soaks up all of that syrup. Sorry, I'll do both so we can try it as well, Baz. I just want the little olive oil to finish off my uh, guacamole. Well, this, so we have to keep it in this, because- Whopping out a 90 pound bottle of olive oil. Well, I, was, I said to Alex he could take it home, but he didn't. Grassy notes, tomato vine. Fig leaf. Yeah. First day harvest, thank you, Monica. Both Ben and I are really happy with the spice levels of that porchetta mix. We've got a funny feeling Jamie won't be, which is why I'm bringing in the psycho juice. No, don't spoil it. Just a dab. We can give him a dab and see if it brings it to Jamie's level. But you can't take it out, and when it becomes unbearable... Yeah, but I'm gonna, that's why we've got to test it before we put it in, Ben. For Jamie, we have to get on his level, understand what his fascination is, so... Even he admits that you still need to taste everything around it. Are you with me to have a dab? No. I was the best man at his wedding. Jamie, this is for you. One of the better men. All right, I was one of three. <sighs> See, it's not worth ruining such a fantastic dish, is it? I think that's enough. As dealing goes, you don't look like you're dealing with it. No, it's not unpleasant, it's just quite uncomfortable. Okay, it's bearable, but I'm, I'm weak. I mean, not out the carton. Is it milk? Oh, that's an amazing thing. Got some nice pineapple fronds. Obviously, Jamie being Jamie said wood was important to him as an answer. So we're gonna smoke it with wood chips. Plus, of course, we've chosen whiskey, which is his favorite, but he's also aged in wood barrels. So he's got wood on wood. Oh, this, is, this is how much you've been to me, Jamie. God, try not to dribble on your burrito. Sneaky salad in there. About six bits worth of avocado in there. Really, really fine strips of pink allium. Fresh chopped tomatoes, fresh green chili, which is not very spicy, so I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Don't do it. I have to do that. No, no, no. no put it on the side. Look, look, at, look at the pain it's giving you. Yeah, Don't no, ruin good food. Yeah, this one? Yeah, a little bit of that. How spicy is that one? I'm not going again. That's oil base. Yeah, that's nice. A little, a little dash of that. A little dash of this. So one. remember, this has already got a fair amount of chocolate. I know, but it's in it. Jamie, innit? Stop. That is a beautiful looking burrito. All I can seal do is ruin this. Yeah, seal it. <laughs> Don't mess it up. Yeah. Really tight. Nice. And then seal in the bottom. Oh, I'm happy with that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm rubbish wrapping burritos, and that's not bad for me. It's saggy. It's saggy at both ends. Could be tighter. It's also falling out. Well, we might have to wrap again. We might have to wrap. I well, think it's. We we'll wrap out. again. Ebers, we wrap it. It's not. It's not even tight. Ebers, it's even lift, I can't even lift it. Yeah, okay, right. It needs, gonna... to be half, it needs to be half the size of that. Okay, less sag. But we even had Ollie in here. You didn't learn anything from him. So there. Yeah. Now it looks like it's been eaten once. <laughs> right. So more in this way. Tighter, 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 tighter. You want to almost rip it tight. Don't say that. Big news! We've got another Sorted Live streamed event and it's going to be huge! Across Saturday the 5th and Sunday the 6th of August, we're taking over an entire house to bring you the Wild Weekender completely live and interactive. Think of it as a whole weekend of the sorted cooking craziness that you know and love, mixed with house party vibes, mixed with festival vibes, and, well, it's gonna be carnage and it's gonna be live. We've got recipe relays with Pass It On on fire, and a Pass It On where our kids create a crazy recipe brief. A late night style interactive quiz with Janice. A cooking obstacle course in the Olympic Nick Games. Chefy cooking challenges with Kush and Ebers. The return of James Curry. A poker face pool party challenge. And, and tons, tons more. more. As always, you can watch the madness unfold live or on demand at a time that suits you for up to 30 days after the event. You can find all the info and tickets by using the QR code or by clicking the link in the description box below. So get your mates together, grab some food and buckle up for our biggest live event ever. We cannot wait to see you on the live stream. That's a seatbelt. I'm, I'm glad. Thanks for clarifying. 
Wechsel. Hang on. This is the weight of a small child. <laughs> right. Okay. The first one was a bit saggy. That I'm is sorry. Better. That looks good. <laughs> the final spritz. You're going to make all the difference. Yep. Nice. Well happy with that. A little bit more pink allium. Nice job, Baz. We should be proud of ourselves, there. I think we shoehorned them all in, with the exception maybe of brass, because you served on aluminium. But other than that, and a dream menu. And we've blown these trumpets this entire video, so... Oh, true. That's brass. <laughs> <laughs> No pressure, Jay, but we have been slaving away to impress you today. Have you been busy? Sleep. Ready for your dream? Given the answers you gave us, I'm mm. sure you know what's coming. The fact that you think you can see into my dreams is worrying for everyone. <laughs> Let's start over here with porchetta. You're not allowed to eat that. Nope. And we didn't make it, Chris did last night. What? But that is what's in this. This is your first dish, Jamie. What? Jamie. Yes. This. Yes. Is a spicy burrito with allium, lettuce, pink stuff <laughs> to be eaten with your fingers. So you've basically combined everything mm -hmm. into what? Wow. Now, how do you judge any good meal, Jamie? Density. Pick it up. Is that, is that a meal? That is a great lunch. <laughs> Right. What is that? Excuse fingers, Jay. Tuck in. And if you want it spicier, you make your dream. We didn't want to turn it into a nightmare. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you've put Spain <laughs> into a burrito <laughs> before, but we thought this time an Italian yeah. porchetta. I'm going to add a little bit of the, the sauce just to check for spice. It's just a hot sauce. On its own, there's a gentle breeze oh. of warmth. Once you add the hot sauce, it becomes perfect. I like being able to dabble. Okay, so some mouthfuls you wanna go breezy again. Yep. And other times you wanna hit it hard. Hit it hard. Okay, gotcha. But that has such a good balance of the meatiness, the pickled onions, the freshness, that seems to have everything. It has mostly meat in there, to be honest. I was with the, <laughs> the porchetta adds a really different texture to mm -hmm. what I'd expect to have in a burrito. Mm -hmm. It's less like the pulled pork, and it's yeah. got that wonderful like chew. chew to it. But what do you think of the lettuce? You went spring, allium, and lettuce. So we put them all together in spring onion and lettuce puree. The puree is really unusual. I like it. Ready for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> this is a light moist sponge <laughs> with woody whiskey pineapple. It's a rum bubba. With whiskey. It looks incredible. Mm -hmm. The cherry on top. Wow. Where's the wood coming from? Uh, we have soaked it in whiskey, which is obviously aged in wood barrels. And then we have also smoked the finished thing with some uh, yes. chips. You can sense the theme here. <laughs> you wanted moist. This should be drenched. <laughs> Well, cheers. Cheers. You've gone for Jamie's portions of whiskey in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. The questions that you asked were so random. I think I forgot them the second that you asked them. So to come back to this is a genuine surprise. And the fact that it's delicious, I'm not surprised that you made it delicious, but you know, you were involved. <laughs> so it looks and it tastes great. The questions were random and we had to shoehorn a few in. But it is based on the fact that we've known you for 20 odd years. Yeah. How well did we do? We need some scores. Oh, you could have just done that. <laughs> <laughs> but you went the extra mile and I appreciate that as well. I reckon that's a strong 9.3. 9.3? Yes. We don't even need to ask about dessert. I'm happy with that. <laughs> do you want to give that a score out of 10 as well? 8.4. Oh. Okay, that's still 8. pretty 8. good. All in all, I'm over the moon. This is such a privilege to be able to have your friends cook a meal for you with skill. 
um, and Barry. And I think... <laughs> I really that. That was too much of a laugh. Be professional. Hold, hold your shit together. <laughs> the great thing is, if you've got skill, we're going to make sure that the entire uh, whiskey bar bar recipe is available on Sidekick as one of the hero recipes. Go check it out. Thank you, boys. You're very Thank welcome. Ah, oh, this has been really good, nice. Good series, eh? Yeah. So we've done Barry, we've done Jamie. Comment down below, who gets the dream menu next? Mike or me? Oh. So can I take my trousers off now, just to complete the dream, or? 